Hey up, time for another vlog. So where am I this week? Where's this week's adventure taking us? Well, it's eventually going to take us to Northumberland. We're on, on the way up the uh, northeast coast. But uh, we decided to stop off at a place called Steetley, and more specifically Steetley Pier, which is just a little bit further north than Hartlepool. Uh, the pier itself is quite famous in the fact that it's got a section missing. It's, uh, it's an old industrial pier, not a pleasure pier. Uh, I think it was used for, uh, I think it was a magnesia work, so they used to pump the seawater up, up on the, onto the shore, uh, remove the minerals and then I guess pump it back out to sea again. But the whole beach is uh, really interesting, there's loads of uh, industrial uh, relics, old, old woodwork, old piers and jetties, and obviously the massive pier in itself. And uh, yes, yeah, so the tide's coming in, it's going to capture a few shots, so uh, join me, let's see what we can make of this place. So what I've got compositionally is this, this sort of old wooden jetty, all these rotting timbers going out into the sea. And I'm going to go for quite a long uh, exposure, well actually two minutes, it's quite very long. Um, and I'm going to hopefully get uh, this minimalist seascape, uh, probably black and white, I'm really thinking mono for this image. And that tends to appeal to me, I quite like that simplistic look. Um, but the issue I've got really is two minutes, okay that's a long time, but any movement in the camera is going to really show up and I'm on soft sand and in fact the tide's coming in and if the water starts washing around the legs as I just did a minute a moment ago um, that's going to cause movement and give me blurred images so I've had to move back try and find uh, something at least resembling st uh, stable sand um, and I'll try again take some more images now you can get sand feet uh, and people use cheats like putting CDs under the under the legs well I used to have some sand feet and I used to either forget to bring them or just rarely used them so they've gone they're on eBay so I'll just be careful just keep checking back on those images, keep reviewing it on the back of the screen, make sure that they're still crisp and sharp, and uh, let's see what we get. Headed down under the pier, um, it's a bit of a classic shot but I'm here so I might as well. Um, you've got this lovely sort of, uh, it's just such a graphical shape, you've got this triangle at the end of the pier um, and obviously the sort of leading off into the distance and all the different struts, all the different pillars of the pier. So the, the key here is the symmetry. So what I've done is I've brought the guidelines on my screen uh, and, the, and the spirit level uh, and I'll just make sure that it's all lined up uh, and I'll just keep taking shots. I've got the same problem that I had before, I'm doing a two minute exposure which is pushing it when I'm on soft sand and I've also got this um, tide coming in so I'm going to have to keep reviewing my images, make sure they're sharp, just be aware that the camera, the tripod may be moving. If I have to keep taking shots, I've got plenty of time, I'll just keep moving back further and further back along the pier but hopefully I'll get the shot and if it's any good I'll put it up now. sure if we prefer this image in black and white as I originally intended or perhaps with a splash of that soft colour. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and if you haven't already done so please like and subscribe and give that bell a little bit of a nudge. <laughs>